back everybody. Um, today I'm just going to do a craft with me. I'm working on a future project so um, I thought I'd just bring you guys along while I create. I'm going to do a small like mini booklet. It's not really going to be a journal just more of a, a little booklet thing. So I've got a 6x9 envelope. Well actually I've got two of them and these are pretty thin and because I want to do some <clears throat> um, collaging on it I thought I'm going to try to double this up and see if I can stitch around it leaving an opening it at each side but I'm not sure if it's going to work but we'll just go through it and try so the other thing I did is I just took some um, baking paper and I've just torn it with my um, with my ruler, and I'm going to sandwich that between, and I'm hoping that that will hang over. I don't know. I'm going to have to see how this works. This is just um, something I was thinking that might be kind of cool to do, but. <clears throat> Whether it actually works, I don't know, but you'll you'll just come along with me. So let's just get started. Um, I'll set that to the side because I want to start working with some <clears throat> some collaging. So the kit I'm working with today, guys, is Dreams, etc. Romantic Notions, and this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I've got a project in mind for this. Um, so if you like what you see, you can get that on her website. She has her own website. <clears throat> and I will obviously put the link below for that. Um, okay, so let's just see. Like I said, I don't know. It's just something I thought about last night, and I thought, oh, I really want to, um, I want to do something besides a journal, because I've got so many journals on the go at the moment, and I just, I'm starting to feel a bit overwhelmed <clears throat> with it. Uh, yesterday was a really strange day for me. I just felt, um... I don't know, I've felt like the whole week as if I'm forgetting something because it's been, I don't know, I guess everybody has those days. You just walk around thinking, oh gosh, what have I forgotten today? What, what, what? <laughs> I know there must be something I'm supposed to be doing. And it's, um, yeah, it's left me feeling a little bit, um, I mean, I'm generally good about making lists. Um, as a reminder, but yeah, I just feel a little bit off, and I don't know if you guys have those kinds of days, but <clears throat> when that happens, um, I have to kind of just step away from things, and um, I'm feeling like that's maybe, and it's tricky because I've committed to this, but yeah, I'm starting to feel like I need a little bit of a detox from technology, um, to get my uh, focus and clarity back. You guys know this decoupage is totally not my thing. Um, but I do... I, I prefer this when I have to do it. Um, I bought the Tim Holtz and I'll be honest, I think I still, this is still my favorite. Um, but I may pull his out at some point because it's got the antiquing. I've got the one that's like a brown, but we'll see. I just don't even know. This might end up in the bin. <laughs> it, often, that's what happens, you know, you just don't see it. Um, you know what, I'm going to pull some wax paper. That 
that'll make my life a little bit easier and uh, spare you guys the profanities that will be flying around in the studio. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see how much I can get <clears throat> done on here. I don't know if it will be a complete, you may just, I may just have to break off and because uh, I don't have a very large SD card and I'm, I may end up just having to break off with this and then just showing you guys the, um, the finished uh, journal. I don't know. I'm, I, like I said, this is all new to me, guys. I'm, uh, no expert on any of this stuff and particularly not <laughs> this craft with me is um, is totally new so I don't know how it's all gonna go but we'll just see we'll see how we get on with it I like the little short projects but like I said I kind of because my mindset is I've got design team projects that I've got to do, it's I'm just trying to incorporate all of this to get um, the most done. Okay, so I think... I think I'm going to dry this and I'm going to do that off camera and then I'm going to come back and put a bit of gesso and then I'm going to start adding some of the images from the kit. So I will be back. Okay guys, I've dried that and <clears throat> now I want to bit, do a bit of um, gesso on here just to tone it down and then I think what I'll do then is um is come back and uh, collage some of the images from the kit on here. I'm not going to worry about the inside one because I'm going to put a whole image on that, um, and you'll see that as we go along here. But yeah, I just wanted to do something different today. I'm, I'm totally burnt out on journals at the moment. <clears throat> and I'll tell you something else, crazy as it sounds, I'm really wanting to make some tiny junk journal Christmas crafts um, because I've just with that little shop in town closing I'm happy with that I can always come back and add more <coughs> with the little shop in town closing I picked up some Christmas papers because I wasn't able to bring my Christmas stuff um, I don't tend to do a lot of holiday crafts because I've I've never really found that those sell particularly well but um, yeah it's just giving me the bug I want to start doing some of those but uh, anyways we'll see see if I get the chance to do that that might be one of my projects for the challenge so let me just dry this guys and I'll be back okay guys <clears throat> that's been dried and uh, it's nice, it's starting to get, you know, some structure to it. And I've just chosen a couple of random, I like this image, because I think that would really make a nice focal po point. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to, let me see. Actually... Okay. 
this is a really nice one. Okay, so I'm going to use this and just, I just want to put some pieces here and there because I still want to see some of the book page underneath. That's my thinking anyways. And, uh, Oh, my hands are going to be a mess after all this, but... Okay, so let me just think. This is going to be the front. I tell you what, let me go ahead and fold this so I know. I want to make sure I know where the, the spine is going to be. It's going to be a small booklet so I'm gonna I don't want to make this too complicated because this is only one element of the project oh look at those colors oh that's totally my colors there now beautiful So excited when I got the um, the message that uh, Jennifer had selected me for to join uh, the design team because um, it's very different. Her designs are very different to um, to the other. Uh, designers I'm working with and I really like that variety um, now I won't lie it does make uh, things a little more difficult that way in that I think I've said in the past you know you, if you focus on one you know nature or shabby chic you know you tend to build up a nice um, Sorry about that, guys. Uh, my husband had just come back from the store, and Daisy, <laughs> she's very protective now. So, um, yeah, as I was saying, you can you can get a nice stash of things, but but I just I get too bored with that. I need um, I need to have the variety of working with different things. Okay, let me see. Actually, I'm happy to carry on with this. I can use those frames somewhere else. This is just beautiful paper. And trim that off. Okay. It needs a little bit down here. Yeah, I want to be careful. I don't want to end up covering up all my book pages that I put down, but I like the idea of that going. 
along there. And then I think something over here maybe. Yeah, I think actually that might be quite pretty there. Just to break that up a little bit. Tell you what, I'll go like that across the spine. I don't want to leave the spine completely blank. Okay, I still feel like something... We need something there. Dum to dum this little bit, maybe. Okay, let's see how... I'm going to dry that, guys. I feel like maybe something across here. Okay, let me do that, and then I'm going to dry this, and we'll come back and see what we think, because... Like I said, it might all end up in the, the trash can. We don't know. Okay, I'm going to dry this, guys, and I'll be... Okay, guys, I have dried that. And so that's how it's looking. This end open. I'm not still not too sure if I can get away with keeping these on, but we'll see. Um... Probably not, because I'm intending to go back and stitch this. Okay, so anyways, uh, let me put this to the side. What I decided on the inside, and I will do those in reverse, okay, is I've went ahead and cut this. So let me just get this glued down. Um, because I want to come back and just put a little bit of gesso over that, I think. It won't need much, but I just think to make it all kind of come together. guys remember in kindergarten you, they'd had these things they'd put around your neck with like a name tag I really think as a crafter we ought to have one of those that we can put our phone folder in and those scissors that we're always losing too <laughs> I think that's that's the million dollar project right there. Um, okay, so I'm going to keep that. I don't believe I can get away with doing this with, uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of gesso along the edges there. Uh, it doesn't need much, but I just kind of want to tone this down a little bit. Um, dum 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 dum. Yeah, this is uh, these craft with me's boy. I admire the ladies that can make this look so easy because wow, I'm struggling with it, guys. Um, 
the projects are fine. I know what I'm doing and I can do them. And this I find really difficult because I tend to work with uh, music on. And of course when you're filming you can't have that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm finding this a real challenge. So I don't know. This is why I keep saying, oh, it may end up in the trash because I just don't have the confidence that I'll, I'll <coughs> be successful with creating on, <laughs> on, on camera. Okay. So I've got that done. And um, now I'm going to have to go to the machine. I'm just trying to think out loud here. Do I really want a pocket? Because if I did, I could stitch that on each end, put it together and just run a stitch along there. And then we would still, ah, that's what we'll do. Because I, I think it would be quite nice to maintain. Oh, no. Wow, I totally forgot. This is going to go in. Aha, uh -huh. okay. That's a complete rethink then. Okay, we aren't going to have a pocket on each end because I'm willing to sacrifice that to have this hanging over. Do, 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 do. Ruler, ruler, ruler. And that's hanging over just a little bit too much, so just going to tear a bit more of that off. Um, all right, I'm going to run to the machine, guys, and I'll be back. You can see what where we're at. Okay, guys, I've sandwiched some of the baking paper. You could use wax paper, parchment paper. Um, just to give it a little bit of sound and some added um, interest. And then I sandwiched some seam binding that I had aged. I tea dyed this and um, and it had a it came out with a, a lot of aged variation on it. So it was only suitable for you know certain projects, but I think it really complements this nicely. And then here's the interior. So, there she is, guys. Really, really happy. Now, obviously, I'm, I'm going to probably embellish this further along. But that is our craft with me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, and uh, thanks for your patience. This is... Um, this is not, not my thing. I'm not comfortable with it, but thank you guys so much. Um, I really do appreciate everybody who has commented and uh, joined my channel. You, you don't know what it means to somebody. Um, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know if you know how much those remarks in the comment box do mean. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>